Hi everyone, let us discuss this concept primitive or antiderivative of any function. Consider two functions small f and capital F. Both are defined on set G which is open subset of complex plane, right? Capital F is analytic and derivative of capital F is small f on G. Get it? See when we have derivative of capital F is small f then we say small f is a derivative of capital F or in a reverse way we can say capital F is antiderivative of small f. Understood? An antiderivative is nothing but primitive. Here, if you have derivative of capital F is small f, then what we say? Small f is derivative of capital F or reverse way we can say capital F is antiderivative or primitive of small f. So, this is definition of antiderivative or primitive. So, let us discuss uh, one result, okay, using this concept. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. So, let us discuss this result now. So, in this result, we have an open set G of a complex plane, right? We have a function f, small f, which is defined on G, which is a continuous function having primitive or you can say antiderivative capital F, right? Where, yes, I have written here. We have a curve, smooth curve x, which is defined on closed interval a, b. Then we have to prove that line integral of small f over x is equal to capital F of x of b minus capital F of x of a. Okay, so this thing we have to prove. So the very important thing is uh, given information that is capital F is a primitive of small f or you can say capital F is a antiderivative of small f. That means small f is derivative of capital F. Let me write a given information. We have, we have, what we have? Capital F is primitive of small f or you can say small f is derivative of capital F. So we can write here. Therefore, f dash of z is equal to small f of z, right? So, this is a very important thing we have and this is true for all z belongs to G. Okay, this is a very important information we have here. So, let us consider, we will start with left hand side and we will prove right hand side. So, consider, what shall we consider here? Line integral of f of z dz over x. So, you are familiar with the definition of complex line integral. So, let us use definition of complex line integral integration. Here we have a curve x which is defined on closed interval a b. So, limits of integration will be a to b f of curve is x. So, x of t into x dash of t dt. So, this is equal to integration a to b. Small f is nothing but derivative of capital F. So, let us replace this uh, small f by capital F dash. So, f dash of x of t into x dash of t dt. Okay. So, here actually chain rule is used getting derivative of outer function capital F after the derivative of inner function. That means we can write here capital F composite x dash of t dt. We are getting. So, this thing we have. Okay. So, if you use chain rule, what we do? Derivative of outer function, that means derivative of capital F first into derivative of x. Okay, so chain rule is used here, so we can express in this way. So, now here we can use fundamental theorem of calculus. Here, derivative and integration will get cancelled to each other by fundamental theorem of calculus and we can directly write f composite x of t with lower limit a upper limit b so you know that after that we put upper limit first and then we put lower limit so what will you have here f composite x of b by putting upper limit minus f composite x of a by putting lower limit so okay you can write in this way also f composite x that means x will operate first f of x of b okay minus here also same thing will happen f of x of a so in this way we Prove this result, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.